In this video, I'm going to detail how you can get a much higher accuracy for your FAQ chatbot within VoiceFlow. So one of the issues that I ran into when building out a client system is that I would get about 20 documents and I'd put that into knowledge base. And when I did that, essentially it would get really good at answering the sort of broader questions. But what would happen is the FAQ questions, for example, you know, where are you located or what's your phone number? These questions would get filtered out and they wouldn't get responded to accurately because it's such a small text, a part of that knowledge base, a part of the 20 documents that it would actually lose that response and it would start being inaccurate in those responses. And so only now recently has VoiceFlow released what's called the FAQ API. And the FAQ API is gonna enable us to get that much higher accuracy. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can implement that. And it's pretty easy as well. So what I've set up is a very basic VoiceFlow template. All it's doing is querying the knowledge base and that's it. There is no documents in the knowledge base. And I've done that to show you how the API is working. So just quickly, if I hit start here and I ask it, what is your refund policy? It's not going to give me any answer because I've got nothing in the knowledge base to actually help answer that question. So I've done this for the purpose of demonstrating the FAQ API and exactly how it works. So it's pretty simple. What you want to do is go to the create an FAQ set section here. I'm going to have this link in the description. You pretty much just want to hit this plus button here. And so you're going to want to create what is the FAQ set. So what you're doing is you're essentially just creating exactly what the question is going to be and what your sort of intended response is. And then the magic is just going to work itself out. So if I want to create my FAQ set, maybe I want it to be called refunds. I want this FAQ set to purely handle everything to do with the refund policy. You can click this, the question part. So you type in whatever the question is, what is your refund policy? And this area, we have a 100% refund policy, whatever in there. And then essentially what you're going to do is go up to this authorization section and copy and paste your dialogue manager API key. And so it's blanked out because I've got my key in there, but you just go get your voice flow dialogue manager API key, which you can go into voice flow and click over here. Integrations and click dialogue API and just hit copy and then paste that up here. And then once this is all set up, you just hit try it. And so once I've done it, it's created that. So now it's fully created. You don't have to do anything else. Just go into your project because you've done that API key. It's already set it up. You just hit start and you can ask, what is your refund policy? And so now what you've done is you've hard coded it. So now it's going to be able to answer that response. And so it's not just hard coded to this question. We can ask different variations as well. So you can say, my item is broken. How can I get it funded? And so obviously it's going to be able to leverage that as well. And it's going to be able to not only pull that response, but give it a little bit of a twist where it's still answering this part, but it's pulling in that FAQ API. So you're still retaining the flow that is understanding what they asked, but you're also pulling in the accurate and set FAQ API message. And so this is going to be a super useful tool to be able to retain that accuracy. When you have 20 plus documents built out for a client, you're going to be able to get quite a lot of accuracy in regards to those smaller questions that isn't going to have a lot of information embedded into the documents. If you'd like an AI system for yourself, you can check the link in the description where you can book a call with me and we can go through your project and what you'd like to build out and we can discuss how that's going to look, whether it's integrating something like this or completely different, we can get on a call and discuss that. 